The, we were called upon to serve and, and, and we're honored to serve uh, FEMA during two of the most, most prominent in recent memory um, hurricane uh, disasters or superstorm disasters, if you want to correctly uh, uh, annotate uh, Sandy. Seems like they're all superstorms yes, these days, yes. right? I mean, it's amazing uh, what's happening. Sandy yeah. was the perfect storm, if you will, of, yeah. of, of a lot of uh, factors and a lot of issues. But uh, what, what happened was our ability to deploy quickly to, in, in this case, in the case of both uh, um, New York, New Jersey, and Puerto Rico and Virgin Islands, more recently, was the ability to serve uh, disaster recovery centers. And in, in uh, New York, it was interesting to see all these FEMA folks that, that, that serve and come in as, as a result of, of, of a need. Sure. Uh, and they said, yeah, glad you're here. You'll be here a couple of days. Um, you know, this will re really be a big help to us. We were there for six months. In Puerto Rico, the big problem was getting our gear on the island, getting uh, our installers to the island, getting them transportation, getting them uh, deployed throughout the island and, and as well as on the Virgin Islands. We're still there today. However long ago that happened in Puerto Rico, a couple of years now almost, um, we're still there today sort of solving the problem of some broken still infrastructure and broken communication links and so forth. And, and um, you know, we're, we're, we've, we've got preparations going on right now and discussions with FEMA on, on how to be ready for it again. Um, we never did want to bring our gear back to the mainland because we'd sure. solve those problems again. So where to store the gear? In some places, in some cases, uh, the gear is still active and systems and, and services are still being rendered. So the, the, we're, we're proud of that. We, we, but, you know, getting back to the idea of, well, you can't tell where you're going to set up a, a, a disaster recovery center, where you're going to set up tents and so forth. That problem will always exist. And companies like Verizon and ourselves are, are always ready to move wherever we need to be. The idea of path diversity and re, re, re redundancy in the network at fixed locations at critical government agencies, federal, state, and local, that provide direct constituent service, that's where funding needs to be. So, 